It is an honor to be with you today. As a mota berko maz ma unala chay ekdam ay dere ashisi chu. I am uh, very encouraged by this church. Ani mo yes mandali ko karan ni gada hel chay ekdam ay utsahit chu. And I uh, was very blessed by the worship. Ani mo suti prasam sa aran nala ni ekdam ay dere ashisi po he. And by the children. As Pastor Heyman said, I met Heyman uh, 21 years ago. While I was serving in the Middle East. And I knew that he was a believer from the moment that I met him. And we began a very close friendship. Now, 21 years ago, we did not have cell phones. And so keeping in touch was a bit difficult. But Pastor Heyman is persistent. And he has kept in touch quite well. Uh, it is an honor for my family and me and for our church. Because we believe in the work that you are doing here. And we see the impact that you are making in your community. I am grateful as well to be able to minister as I do. To pastor a church that my wife and I planted 12 years ago. We have seen an incredible move of God in our church. We've seen 40,000 people saved. Thousands of people baptized. And I know that this is not because of me or our team. It is because of the powerful hand of the Lord. And so I give honor and glory and praise to the Lord. It looks a little different to lead a church in the States than it does here. And yet we are still faced with our own challenges. As your culture here resists the gospel. So too has our culture begun to resist the gospel. And it can be very difficult to Preach the gospel when people resist the gospel. It can be very difficult to share Jesus with those who may persecute you. This work is very difficult. Matter of fact, Jesus promised us this. Uh, in this world you will have trouble he even said that men will hate you because of me he promises us that we will be persecuted we will at times be mistreated by others and yet though this life may be difficult and the work that we've been called to very difficult. If I can encourage you with one simple thing today. My prayer for you. 
मेरो प्रार्थना इज दैट यू विल लीव टुडे आज तपाईहरु चाहिँ यो मण्डलीबाट चाहिँ आफ्नो घरमा चाहिँ एकदमै धेरै उत्साहको साथ जोस अनि जागको साथ फर्किनु हुन्छ विथ बिगर भिजन ठुलो ठुलो दर्शन देखेर and with a greater commitment अनि ठुलो अझै अझै ठुलो म गर्छु भन्ने सक्ने खालको एउटा समर्पणता लिएर to living out the only mission that matters अनि एउटै मात्र मिशन जुन जुन चाहिँ धेरै महत्त्वपूर्ण छ the mission that Jesus gave his life for त्यो मिशनको लागि चाहिँ जसले येशु ख्रीष्टले चाहिँ आफ्नो प्राण दिनु भयो the mission that Jesus has left his church to finish अनि येशु ख्रीष्टले चाहिँ आफ्नो मण्डलीहरु चाहिँ पूरा हुनलाई चाहिँ छोडेर जानु भयो as we are empowered and led by his holy spirit अनि जसरी हामी उहाँको पवित्र आत्माले चाहिँ डोराएका छौ अनि चलाएका छौ and that is the mission of making heaven full अनि त्यो एउटा मिशन भनेको चाहिँ स्वर्गलाई भरिभराउ पार्नु हो it is the mission of bringing lost people to jesus हराएको व्यक्तिहरु चाहिँ येशु ख्रीष्टमा ल्याउनुको एउटा मिशन हो i tell our church often मैले मेरो मण्डलीलाई घरी घरी भनि राख्दछु that i cannot wait to get to heaven म स्वर्ग स्वर्ग पुग्न चाहिँ रोक्नै सक्दिन पर्खिनै सक्दिन भनेर तर when i get to heaven तर म जब स्वर्गमा पुग्छु i don't want to be the only person that i know there म स्वर्गमा पुग्दाखेरि चाहिँ म एउटा मात्र चिनिएको म एउटा मात्र त्यहाँ भएको चाहन्न i want my family and my children in heaven with me म चाहिँ मेरो परिवार र मेरो बालबालिकाहरु पनि स्वर्गमा देख्न चाहन्छु i want my friends and my neighbors in heaven with me म चाहिँ मेरो साथीहरु र हाम्रो घर छिमेकीहरु पनि स्वर्गमा देख्न चाहन्छु i want the people in the city that i've been called to in heaven with me म चाहिँ यो संसारको अनि शहरको व्यक्तिहरु पनि स्वर्गमा भएको देख्न चाहन्छु And that is why this mission that we've been called to matters so much. अनि त्यही भएर हामी जुन मिशन को लागि बोलाएका छौ जुन सेवकायको निम्ति बोलाएको छ त्यो चाहिँ एकदमै धेरै महत्त्वपूर्ण छ. Because we are all lost and hopeless apart from Jesus. हामी चाहिँ येशु बाहेक चाहिँ सबै जना हराएका र आशाविहीन छौ. And when I get to heaven what a joy it will be. अनि म जब स्वर्गमा पुग्छु कति आनन्दको कुरा होला यो। I will then receive the desire of my heart. अनि त्यतिबेला म चाहिँ मेरो हृदयले चाहेको कुराहरु चाहिँ पूरा हुन्छ त्यतिबेला। And yet will I give the Lord the desire of his heart? अनि त्यही पनि के हामीले येशु ख्रीष्टले येशु ख्रीष्टलाई चाहिँ परमेश्वरलाई चाहिँ उहाँको हृदयले चाहेको कुरा दिन्छौ त? Because it is the desire of the Lord. किनभने यो चाहिँ परमेश्वरको हृदयको चाहना हो। That not a single person would perish. कोही पनि व्यक्ति नाश नहोस्। But that everyone would come to repentance through Christ Jesus. तर सबै जना चाहिँ येशु ख्रीष्टको अघि आएर चाहिँ पश्चाताप गरोस्। It is the desire of the Lord. यो चाहिँ येशु ख्रीष्टको एउटा चाहना हो, हृदयको चाहना हो। That his house would be full. उहाँको घर चाहिँ भरिभराउ भएको चाहनु हुन्छ। And so that is why this mission matters. त्यही भएर यो सेवकाय अनि यो मिशन चाहिँ एकदमै धेरै महत्त्वपूर्ण छ। Because when I get to heaven, किनभने जब म स्वर्गमा पुग्छु, I want to bring as many people with me there. सकेसम्म म सबै जना धेरै व्यक्तिहरु चाहिँ म स्वर्गमा लान चाहन्छु। So that I can give the Lord his desire. किनभने मैले त्यो काम गरे भने चाहिँ मैले येशु ख्रीष्टलाई परमेश्वरलाई चाहिँ उहाँको हृदयको चाहना पूरा गर्न सक्छु। It is so good that we put clothes on those who are in need. अनि कति राम्रो असल कुरा छ कि खाँचोमा परेकाहरुलाई हामीले वा उनीहरुको खाँचो पूरा गर्न सक्छौ। It is so good that we feed the hungry. अनि कति असलको कुरा छ भोकाएकाहरुलाई हामीले खाना दिन सक्छौ। It is so good that we give medicine to the sick. अनि कति असलको कुरा छ कि बिरामीहरुलाई रोगी बिरामीहरुलाई हामीले औषधिहरु दिदछौ। It is so good that we visit those who are in prison. अनि कति असलको कुरा छ जेलमा भएको व्यक्तिहरुलाई हामीले भेट्न जादछौ। And yet if only we give food to the hungry but do not minister to their soul. तर भोकाएका हामीले खाना मात्र दिन्छौ र उनीहरुको प्राणलाई चाहिँ हामीले सेवकायमा परमेश्वरको बारेमा सुनाउँदैन भने If only we clothe those who are naked but do not give them Jesus. त्यो नङ्गाहरुलाई लुगाहरु मात्र लुगा फाटा मात्र दिनको दिएर हामीले उनीहरुलाई सुसमाचार सुनाउँदैन भने We might as well work at a clothing store. हामी चाहिँ त्यो भन्दा राम्रो त बरु हामी लुगा पसलमा काम गर्नु गर्छौ. But our mission is greater than that. तर हाम्रो सेवकाय अनि हाम्रो मिशन चाहिँ त्यो भन्दा असल छ त्यो भन्दा माथि छ. So I am going to share a message on my heart today. अनि त्यही भएर आज म मेरो हृदयमा भएको एउटा वचन अनि एउटा मेसेज चाहिँ म तपाईहरुलाई सुनाउन चाहन्छु। One that Pastor Haman has asked me to preach. अनि Pastor Haman ले मलाई यो पढाइदिनुस् यो सिकाइदिनुस् भनेको कुरा चाहिँ आज म तपाईहरुलाई सिकाउँदै छु। I hope that you are encouraged by this message. म आशा गर्दछु कि तपाईहरु चाहिँ यो वचनले चाहिँ तपाईहरु उत्साहित हुनुहुन्छ। But I also pray that you are challenged by this message. तर म यो पनि प्रार्थना गर्छु कि तपाईहरुलाई चाहिँ एउटा चुनौती होस्। When we get to heaven, जब हामी स्वर्गमा पुग्दछौ, we will be able to worship God there. 
Just as we worshipped him here. We will gather together as the family of God. In heaven as we are gathered here. And yet the one thing that we cannot do when we get to heaven is to bring anybody else with us. I cannot share the gospel with a person who is lost once I am in heaven. And that is why this mission matters. I have challenged many churches in America. That if the church is gathered, but is not seeing lost people found for Christ. The church is like a car without an engine. A body without a heart and a soul. We are here to reach lost people for Jesus. That is the mission that Jesus came for. He, he said, I have come to seek and save the lost. And it is the mission that he has given the church. Therefore, go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. And he does not tell us when to stop. We must continue until every ear has heard the name of Jesus which brings life. In Luke chapter 14, Jesus is speaking to religious people. And, and he tells this story. Jesus replied, A certain man was preparing a great banquet and invited many guests. He's speaking of a man who was preparing his home. He's preparing the table. He wants his house to be full. He cannot wait to see all the people. All the smiles on every face. He cannot wait for the fellowship. And for sharing this incredible meal with all of his guests. Jesus is talking about a man who is not preparing his home for a few. But he is making plans for many guests. It is, it is the same thing that we do every week as the church. It is what you have done today. You have prepared a beautiful room. You have set an incredible table. You've set up many chairs. And the space is clean and open and bright. And you are ready to invite many guests. It's why there's a room right behind us with many children. Because we want to introduce our children to Jesus. And yet this is not simply a, a place where people gather. 
अनि यो चाहिँ एउटा मानिसहरु भेला हुने ठाउँ मात्रै होइन This is a place where miracles happen यो ठाउँ चाहिँ त्यस्तो ठाउँ हो जहाँ चाहिँ आश्चर्य कामहरु हुँदछ Where the greatest miracle of all takes place जहाँ चाहिँ सबैभन्दा ठुलो आश्चर्य काम चाहिँ पूरा हुँदछ Because the greatest miracle of all is the miracle of salvation किनभने सबैभन्दा ठुलो आश्चर्य अथवा अचमितको काम भनेको चाहिँ मुक्ति पाउनु हो उद्धार पाउनु हो When the word of God is declared जब परमेश्वरको वचनहरु चाहिँ बाढिदछ And where the presence of God the spirit of God is present जहाँ चाहिँ परमेश्वरको आत्मा अनि परमेश्वरको उपस्थिति चाहिँ रहदछ अलोङ साइड अफ अ चर्च दैट इज एंगेज्ड इन द मिशन अनि जो चाहिँ मण्डलीहरु चाहिँ एउटा मिशनको लागि एउटा सेवाकायको लागि चाहिँ अगाडि बढे बढिरहेको छ पीपल आर सेव्ड एन्ड ट्रान्सफॉर्मड व्यक्तिहरु चाहिँ मानिसहरु चाहिँ यीशु ख्रीष्टमा चाहिँ परिवर्तन र बाँचिएको हुँदछ एन्ड सो एट द टाइम अफ दिस ब्यांक्वेट अनि यो भोजको बेलामा चाहिँ The man sent out his servant to tell those who had been invited. And the big thing is, that you, you know, big thing is, just like you say, God, because you say, just no quarrel, but that's just God. So, why you say, God, let's go. Come now, for everything is ready. Now, come, all of you are ready. But those who were invited, but those who were not invited, they began to make excuses. 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 पहिलो व्यक्तिले चाहिँ भने मैले त भक्कर जग्गा किनेको छु एन्ड आई मस्ट गो एन्ड सी इट अनि म चाहिँ त्यहाँ गएर त्यो जग्गा हेर्न नै पर्छ एन्ड अदर सेड आई हैव जस्ट बॉट फाइव योक अफ ऑक्सन अनि अर्कोले चाहिँ भने चाहिँ मैले चाहिँ पाँच हल गोरुहरु लिएको छु एन्ड आई एम ऑन माय वे टू ट्राई देम आउट अनि म चाहिँ उनीहरु हेर्न जानु पर्छ एन्ड स्टिल अनदर वन सेड आई जस्ट गॉट मैरिड अनि अर्कोले भने म त भक्कर विवाहित भएको हो एन्ड सो आई कैन नॉट कम अनि म चाहिँ आउन सक्दिन Each of these invited guests. And how many of you, who are not able to pay for the money, are there? Have priorities of greater importance. निमन्त्रणा आउनु भन्दा अगाडि पनि त्यो आउनु भन्दा नि अर्को ठुलो महत्त्वपूर्ण कामहरु थियो उनीहरुको लागि चाहिँ One of the challenges of the church today is that people are not responding to the call of God. One of the challenges that I've been speaking with Pastor Haman about. One of the challenges that I've been speaking with Pastor Haman about. One of the challenges that I've been speaking with Pastor Haman about. One of the challenges that I've been speaking with Pastor Haman about. One of the challenges that I've been speaking with Pastor Haman about. One of the challenges that I've been speaking with Pastor Haman about. One of the challenges that I've been speaking with Pastor Haman about. One of the challenges that I've been speaking with Pastor Haman about. One of the challenges that I've been speaking with Pastor Haman about. अनि कसरी यो कोविड लागेको देशमा चाहिँ कोविड लागिसकेको देशमा चाहिँ कसरी सेवाकाय गर्ने आई नो दैट सम अफ द प्रोग्राम्स दैट यू हैड बिफोर कोविड मलाई थाहा छ कुनै कुनै यस्तो प्रोग्रामहरु जसै जो चाहिँ कोविड भन्दा अगाडिको थियो दे वर स्टप्ड बिकज अफ द भाइरस अनि त्यो प्रोग्रामहरु चाहिँ बन्द गरिनु पर्यो रोकिनु पर्यो यो समस्याको कारणले गर्दाखेरि एन्ड इट हैज बीन डिफिकल्ट टु रिस्टार्ट देम अनि फेरि पनि त्यो प्रोग्रामहरु त्यो कार्यक्रमहरु चाहिँ फेरि पनि सुरुवात गर्न चाहिँ एकदम गाह्रो भएको छ वी आर एक्सपीरियन्सिंग द सेम च्यालेंजेस इन द अमेरिकन चर्च अनि हामीले पनि अमेरिकामा त्यही प्रकारको चुनौतीहरु चाहिँ भोगिरहनु परेको छ मेनी पीपल इन माय होम आर स्टिल अफ्रेड टु लीव देयर हाउसेस अनि मेरो मेरो देशमा चाहिँ मेरो घरमा चाहिँ धेरै जना व्यक्तिहरु आफ्नो घर छोडेर बाहिर निस्किन डराउँदछन् Many who belong to the church have become comfortable staying home. अनि जो जे जो व्यक्तिहरु चाहिँ मण्डलीको निम्ति चाहिँ अ मण्डलीको निम्ति चाहिँ छ उनीहरु चाहिँ घरमै बस्न रुचाउँदछ. And so a question that we have been asking in our church. अनि यो चाहिँ प्रश्न जुन प्रश्न चाहिँ मैले मेरो मण्डलीमा सोधिरहेको हुन्छु. Is when the church is gathered what are we giving people different from what they can receive in their home? अनि जब मान्छेहरु चाहिँ मण्डलीमा यसरी भेला हुन्छ उनीहरुलाई हामीले घरमा पाउनु भन्दा मण्डलीमा चाहिँ के फरक कुरा दिइरहेको छ घरमा पाएको भन्दा. Somebody who is only watching this sermon online. अ जसले चाहिँ एउटा यो लाइभ बाट यो फेसबुक बाट यो इन्टरनेट बाट मात्र यो वचनहरु सुनिरहेको छ. Can they take hands with their brothers and sisters? Ah, uh, unyele che ki afno dazu bhai ata badi di bani sanga hat samate ra bana saksa. Can they receive communion with the body of Christ? Ki unyele che parmeshwar ko Yeshu Christ ma che ekata betha ona saksa. Is there someone there to lay hands on them when they are sick? Kya ki unyele bhai ko chau ma che koi bhakti le hat rakhe ra prarthna kardi na saksa. What are we offering people? हामीले चाहिँ हामीले चाहिँ व्यक्तिहरुलाई चाहिँ मानिसहरुलाई चाहिँ के दिइरहेका छौ इन आवर चर्चेस हाम्रो मण्डलीमा दैट दे क्यान नॉट रिसीव एट होम जुन चाहिँ उनीहरुले घरमा पाउन सक्दैन इट इज एन इम्पोर्टेन्ट क्वेशन दैट वी मस्ट बी आस्किंग अनि यो चाहिँ एकदम महत्त्वपूर्ण क्वेशन हो यो चाहिँ महत्त्वपूर्ण प्रश्न हो हामीले सोध्नु पर्ने एज जीसस कन्टीन्यूज दिस स्टोरी अनि जब येशु ख्रीष्टले चाहिँ त्यही अगिनेको कथालाई नियन्त्रणता दिनुहुन्छ द सर्भेन्ट केम ब्याक एन्ड ही रिपोर्टेड दिस टु द मास्टर अनि त्यो नोकरले आएर भन्छ मालिकलाई मालिकलाई भन्दछ कि सबै जनाले बहाना बनाइरहेको छ अब आउँदैन भनेर भन्दछ एन्ड द ओनर अफ द हाउस बिकेम भेरी एंग्री अनि त्यो मालिक घरको मालिक चाहिँ एकदमै धेरै रिसाउनु हुँदछ एन्ड ही ओर्डर्स हिज सर्भेन्ट टु गो आउट इन्टु द स्ट्रीट्स अनि उहाँले चाहिँ त्यो व्यक्तिले चाहिँ आफ्नो न
He said, bring in the poor, the crippled, the blind, and the lame. And it is here that Jesus is reinforcing his mission. And that it is called a co-mission. Co-mission means it is not a mission done by one. But it is a mission that we must do together. This man is not preparing his home all by himself. He has many servants who are there helping him. As there are many servants here who have prepared this church. And as I think about this story that Jesus is telling, it is clear to me that when we worship, we are not meant to worship alone. And that if there are no lost people being found in our worship spaces, I must ask what is the point of our worship. If when the church is gathered together, if there is no one who is in need, no one who is in need of Jesus, are we on mission the way that we have been called to? Are we sharing the gospel? Are we seeking and saving the lost as Jesus did? Are we obeying his command to go into all the world? Because we don't have much time. This life is very short. And when I get to heaven, I cannot share the gospel there. The only chance I have to share the gospel is here. And so I must be busy about the master's work. Because if the master in this story represents Jesus, the moral of this story is this. That Jesus is not satisfied to sit at an empty table. But he wants his table in his house to be full. And so as the sick and the lame and the poor begin to fill the house, the servant said to his master, what you, what you have ordered has been done. But there is still more room. There are still a few empty seats in the back corner. And so the master told his servant, Then go find the new road. Go far out into the country and into the mountains. And compel anybody you can find to come in. So that my house may be full. Jesus is saying that when you have done as much as you can do, 
Yes, you sleep on the Unsa. Zabatapa Hurulese, as a Zabatimi Lese, Zati Saksuti Gorekaso. If there is still breath in your lungs, Zabasamatimi Sanga Sasa, do more. Odze Gora. If you have preached as much as you can preach, Zabatapa Hurule, Zati Sama Saksu, Zati Saksu, Prochara Gorekaso, but there is still breath in your lungs. Ozatapa Sanga Sasa, one is a preach more. Odze Prochara Gora, because you are not done. And if the house you've built is so full, that there is no longer room in this house, but there are still lost people in your city, build a bigger house, set out seats out front, outside. Your work is not done. If there is breath still in your lungs. We celebrate often. As the Bible tells us that heaven rejoices when one lost sinner is found. And so when one lost sinner is found, we the church rejoice with heaven. It is a good thing to celebrate. But we must never become complacent. I had a man in our church say to me recently. You keep asking people to move to different services. Because in our church we have many different services. And some are full and others are not so full. And so we are asking the believers in our full services to move to a different service. And a man said to me, I feel as though you are bothering me too much. He said, if this is what a growing church feels like, where you are always asking me to make room for another, then maybe I don't want to be a part of a growing church. As a pastor, my heart was broken. And I wanted to strangle him. <laughs> but I did not. I can only imagine that as much as my heart was broken. That the Lord's heart was broken more. When we stop making room for another. We have lost the heart of God in the church. We must see this city one to Jesus for the lost. He is again speaking to religious people. Who do not have his heart. And so he gives us these stories in Luke 15 to challenge us. That we would see his heart and know his heart. That we might live his heart together. In the first story, Jesus told them this parable. Suppose one of you has a hundred sheep but loses one of them. Does he not leave the 99 in the open country and go after the one lost sheep until he finds it? 
तिमी मध्य कुन मानिस होला जसको एक सय भेडा मध्य एउटा हराउँदा 99 लाई बनेमा छोडेर हराए हराएको भेडालाई नपाउन्जेल त्यसको खोजी गर्दैनौ हराएको भेडा बेचाएपछि रमाउँदै त्यसलाई आफ्नो कानमा राख्छ र घरमा आएर उसले मित्रहरु छिमेकीहरुलाई बोलाउँछ र तिनीहरुलाई भन्दछ मसँग रमाउ किनभने मैले आफ्नो हराएको भेडालाई पाएको छु and when he finds it, he joyfully puts it on his shoulders and goes home. And he calls his friends and his neighbors together and says, Rejoice with me. I have found my one lost sheep. I tell you that in the same way, there will be more rejoicing in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 righteous persons who do not need to repent. Jesus is challenging the church. And he's saying, I love when you worship. But if when you gather to worship, there is not at least one lost person found. I would rather you go out from this place and find that one lost person. I looked up what the word selfish means in the dictionary. It, it means to care only for oneself. But as I think about the words of Jesus, I think a more complete definition would be this. Selfish is being saved. But refusing to be sent. It is being forgiven but refusing to forgive. It is knowing Jesus but refusing to make Jesus known. It is having Jesus in our heart but not sharing Jesus with others. And I pray that would never be said of us. For the Son of Man came to seek and save the lost. And, and we too are being sent by Jesus. I think of a sheep, a sheep that is lost. A sheep knows that he is lost, but he does not know his way home. And when you know you are lost, you are anxious and afraid. And there are many people in this city who know that they are lost. Who sense in their heart that something is missing. But there are also many people in this city who look more like the coin in the second story that Jesus tells. He's, he speaks of a woman who has ten coins, but she loses one. And he says, if you have lost a coin, will you not search the house until you find it? And 
And when you find that one lost coin, will you not rejoice just as the angels in heaven rejoice? And as about the male, the horror, because the three legs, the horror, because Sika beta was also getting me sorga my other at my watch because they're a mouth, you know. But a coin is not alive. तर त्यो सिक्का त जिउँदो छैन अ कोइन डज नॉट हैव अ माइंड इट डज नॉट हैव फीलिंग्स अनि त्यो सिक्का सँग चाहिँ दिमाग छैन अनि उले महसुस पनि गर्न सक्दैन अ कोइन डज नॉट नो दैट दैट ही इज लॉस्ट अनि त्यो सिक्कालाई चाहिँ थाहा छैन उ हराइएको छ भनेर द कोइन इज डेड त्यो कोइन त्यो सिक्का चाहिँ मरिएको छ And I think, and I think of so many people in this country. अनि म यो देशमा भएको धेरै जना व्यक्तिहरुको बारेमा सोच्दछु. They do not know that they are lost. उनीहरुलाई थाहा छैन कि उनीहरु हराइएको छ भनेर. They think that God is found in nature and in things. उनीहरुलाई लाग्दछ कि परमेश्वर चाहिँ यो सामानहरुमा अनि यो सृष्टिहरुमा रुखहरुमा जुनहरुमा चाहिँ भेटाइन्दछ भनेर लाग्दछ. They do not know that life is found through Jesus. उनीहरुलाई थाहा छैन कि जीवन चाहिँ येशुमा मिल्दछ. And what they need is resurrection power. And you know, let's say you go to the Puna Rutan or Saktiyo. What they need is an encounter with the Spirit of God. And you know, let's say you go to Jesus Christ, go Atma Song, go Bhed Gato. People who do not know that they are lost. जो व्यक्ति ले जाए वो हराई है कुछ भी नहीं करा था सही ना नीड अ कॉन्फ्रेंटेशन विथ द वर्ड ऑफ़ गॉड यीशु क्रिस्ट को बच्चन और उपर मिश्र को बच्चन और सुनाई नहीं पड़ता सा दे नीड टू हियर द ट्रूथ ऑफ़ द वर्ड अन्य बाइबल को बच्चन और यीशु क्रिस्ट को बच्चन और सच्चा बच्चन और जिस सुनाई नहीं पड़ता सा एंड � Then Jesus tells a third story. And Jesus Christ le tisro katha banunsa. Of a man who had two sons. It's a big thing. Jo sanga chhe doyo ta chora arutiyo. And one of his sons leaves the house. And ek zana chora le chaaf no gaur aur chori le zanda sa. He rebels and he goes out on his own. And he, oh, aaf nee man man khushi le gaur, aaf nee khushi man ona lai utiyo gaur bade nikle le zanda sa. And he lives a very sinful life. अन एकदम ए पाप पाप में है जीवन जो उल्लेख बिताऊं दस हो। And he finds himself in a very difficult place। अन इस समय बिताई जाता है रिचे उसने जो एकदम ए आप वो गारो स्थान में पुए को ले महसूस कर दस हो। And he realizes how lost he is। अन उले महसूस कर दस हो वो कत्ती हो रहा है ये कुछ हो बने रहा। But he has a different problem than the lost sheep had। तो रत्यो बेकती सांग जो जो हो रहा है ये को बेड़ा को बंदा पनी छुट्टी प्र तो ये पनी वो अपने घर और वो घर फॉर किरे जाना चाहें सा। But he is afraid that he will not be welcomed home। तो वो लाइक डॉर्स है कि वो घर फॉर किरे गए बने जी मलाई तेरा स्वागत गरीन दही ना बने डॉर्स है। He is afraid that his father at home will reject him। वो लाइक डॉर्स है कि उसको घर में जून पिता होने सा उसले जी पिता ले जी वो लाइक घर बड़ा घर बिताऊंगा इनकार वो लाइक जब तेरी डॉर सो कि मैं इधर घर फॉर के रखा है बने मेरे बुआ ले जाए मलाई घर बटर निकाल दिन उनसे घर में आऊँ ना दिन उन्हें बने डॉर सा। And yet as Jesus tells this incredible story, अन्य यीशु क्रिस्ट लेते बने इस तो असल कथा बनने उनसा। That as this son is making his way back home, जब तेरे ये तो छोरा ले जाए अपनो घर फॉर कि दे घर दे खेल जाए। His father sees him while he is still a long way off. उसको बाले And he does not wait for his son to make his way home. अनि बुआ ले चाहिए उतिओ यहाँ समाय पुक्सा बने रे पर हिंदे ना. Instead he runs out to greet his son. तर ते बुआ ले चाहिए कुद्दे करो उसको छोरा लाये चाहिए भेट न जादा सा. He wraps his arms around him and he cries tears of joy. अनि ते छोरा माते चाहिए बुआ ले अंगालो मारे रे रूदा सा. And I love that nobody is ever too far gone to be welcomed home again. Amen. Surga maca swagat gari na lai koi pani dheere chaada wa dheere pora gai sa ke ka hundai na. That Jesus came to lay down his life for you and for me. Yeshu Christ le chai aafna jeevan chai tapai ani meru nimti krus ma taangi na lai leo no bhaio. That he came to lay down his life for sinners. Ani wa le chai aafna jeevan ani aafna praan chai papi ar ku nimti di nao no bhaio. To save sinners. Ani papi ar lai bachao na lai. And that is the gospel. That is the message that we have been given by Jesus to preach. And I want to challenge you with this. When is the last time that you personally have shared the gospel with another? Pastor Heyman asked me to speak of the cost of Just of of sharing the gospel. Ah, Pastor Heyman, let's say, Malay, 
सुसमाचार सुनाऊं उनको मूल्य को बारे में प्रचार करनु बने रह बन्नु वायो। And I am aware that at times the cost can be great. अनि मलाई यो पनि थाहा छ कि कहिलेकाहीँ त्यो सुसमाचार सुनाउनुको मूल्य चाहिँ एकदमै महान छ। And yet no matter the cost. अनि चाहे जेसुको मूल्य होस्। The mission is worth the cost. त्यो सुसमाचार त्यो मिशन चाहिँ हामीले तीनु पनि मूल्य बन्दा चाहिँ महान छ। The mission is why we are here. त्यो मिशन चाहिँ आज हामी त्यही भएर यहाँ छौ। To tell people that we as sinners were saved by a gracious and loving savior. The aru bekti aru lai chhe Jesus sama cha suno nu lai ki hami jisse paapi tu cha other me chhe Jesus Christ jisse to ekdam premi lo problem chhe hamlai bachao nu bhai kosa. And that they too as sinners can be saved by the same gracious and loving savior. Ani hami lo nu lai tiu bana saksi ki malai bachao nu ne par me shu ne tim lai pani bachao na saknu nsa. So I would like to pray over you. इस कारण मत पहले को लाइक प्रार्थ न करना चाहें सु। If I could pray the blessing of God over this church। मायो मंजली को मंजली को लाइक परमेश्वर को आशीष को प्रार्थ न करना चाहें सु। That Lord you would cover this church। ये प्रभु तब पर परमेश्वर ली मंजली लाइक बहार न हो। That you would bless this church। अनि यो मंजली लाइक तब पर परमेश्वर ली आशीष दिन हो। That you would bless this pastor and his family। अनि यो मंजली को हर एक सेवकाएँ करने पाशर को परिवार ला आशीष दिनों हों। That you would bless and that you would cover every person and every home। कि तब पर परमेश्वर ले से यहाँ भीतर भाई को हर एक व्यक्ति और उनको घर अनि परिवार ले तब पर परमेश्वर ले भरनु होस। And that there would be a boldness by your spirit। अनि त्यहाँ तब पर परमेश्वर को आत्मा ले आत्मा को कारने का दहेज़ जैसे शक्ति होस। That this church would walk in boldness and encourage। कि यो मंदली चाहिए तब पर परमेश्वर में चाहिए उत्साह रजोस को साथ आगे बढ़ना सकोस। And declare your name, the name of Jesus, boldly। अन तब पर परमेश्वर यीशु क्रिस्ट को नाम से आज एकदम बल्लियों बार प्रचार करना सकोस। For there is no other name under heaven given to mankind by which we must be saved. कि न मैंने सोर्ग मुनी इस तो कुने भी नहीं नाव दिए को छाई ना जस माचे मुक्ति सा उदार सा सल्वेशन इस फाउंड इन नो अदर नेम बट द नेम ऑफ़ जीसस एंड जीसस अलोन मुक्ति से इस तो और कुने भी नहीं नाव मां भेजी नहीं ना जून मुक्ति से यीशु क्रिस्ट को नाव मां माते भेजना सा एंड सो एस वी ट्रस्ट योर न अनि इस कारण मैं तबे परमेश्वर को नाव में विश्वास करता सों। May we declare your name। अमित तबे परमेश्वर को नाव लाए घोषणा करना सकों। With boldness and with courage। उत्साह रजोस को साथ अमित तबे परमेश्वर को नाव लाए घोषणा करना सकों। In Jesus name। अयेशु क्रिस्ट को नाव में। Who deserves all glory and honor and praise। जस्ट जस्ट सभी आहादर उन्हें प्रसन्न साने भक्ति को योग्य को Thank you so much for allowing me to minister to you today. Dere dere dhane baad din chancho aza mata pere ko maaz maaz sari bachan baane moka din boy ko lagi. Amen. Amen. Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update.